Hello guys, I am indeed back, stop the worrying now, and uh, yep, yeah, back from holiday, got back a few days ago but I just wanted an extra little break before I got back to making all the videos and stuff, and uh, basically got my level results the other day, not gonna lie, they weren't the best, um, got a B, a D, an E and a U, but who actually likes history, and um yeah, basically, I've uh, been on YouTube, got a lot of comments on like stuff, like uh, people want me to upload some um, the green screen stuff, like running along with certain guns and all that, and I am on that, I'm working on it, I've actually got a little bit of work to do before I get back to school, but I'll actually uh, get that done as soon as possible, and uh, pretty much decided to come back. And uh, first of all, I, I keep saying er a lot. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and stop that. Come back, and I'm going to try and get. Jesus Christ, that's so hard. What do you want? Yeah, I'm gonna. Basically, first thing I'm gonna do is the uh, the Twixter. I had to do Twixter properly because there are a lot of light stories out there, but they just they just completely show you how to do it wrong. So I'll show you how to do it. First of all. I'm going to point out right now, oh yeah, by the way I went to Italy if any of you want to know, I'm going to point out now that you will probably need HD, HD, HD PVR for this, um, you can do it, do it on a Dazzle but it's not going to look the best, but you can still do it on the, on the, um, the Dazzle but pretty much, first of all you want to go First of all, I'm going to show you what you what you basically what I'm going to I'm going to show you what we're going to be doing. So just sit back and watch this. Welcome to the future. Basically, we, first of all, you're going to want to go into Sony Vegas and import your file. Um, really help if I knew what it was. Um, let yourself go. Basically. I'm going to be using this clip here and what you want is you're going to want as you can see up here you can see the sun in the game I chose COD 4 because so I prefer it and um yeah, you're going to want to have it so it's actually naturally reflected on the gun so it's going at, it at an angle you're only facing it so you want to be going at the side and then uh, you want to record whatever you want but mainly what you want to be doing is uh, go to your project properties and uh, 1280 by 720 uh, do the field order upper field first if you have a HD PVR if not then keep that as none um, pixel aspect ratio is 1 output 0 frame rate should be 59.94 but it probably change um, yep yeah, that that is key you do you definitely need it around 60 59.9 you can't have it at, um, 30 frames per second which is what a dazzle is but if you've got a dazzle just bear with it pixel format 8-bit best gaussian blend fields adjust source and uh, you might as well check that if you want and there you go uh, then you want to crop out for black lines which you'll see which I already have done and then right click on your clip go to properties and make sure you disable resample because that will stop all your ghosting and stuff highlight the clip and then go to file render as now you can do it on um, main concept and all that sort of stuff but windows, Me windows media video 11 my throat is screwing up um yeah then you just want to go to custom actually going to load up my First of all, it's custom, 
go to video actually let's just copy all these settings down I'm wasting a lot of time here yep okay then render that out but I already have done for the purposes of the video close it up and then go into your after effects and then let that load up <clears throat> Any minute now. Right. Com new composition. And um, frame rate has to be around 59.94 or 97, whatever your other one was. I just have it at this just because that's what it was rendered out in. Um, durations. My clip is 6 seconds, so I'm going to make it about 20. And then um, just hit OK. File. Import file. Uh, documents. And what did I call it? There we go. And then drag and drop the clip in. And I added a little fade on the one I rendered out. Now what I I actually don't mind having little black bars for slow mo. Because I think it does look quite good, so I'm gonna just add them in. And then what? First of all, you want to make make it actually look good. So let me get to a spot where you can see the side of the gun. Should be about here. There you go. You can see it just looks a bit bit bland, really. And uh, what? Pretty much what you want to do is go to layer, new adjustment layer, and then make it the same. Make it the same size as the uh, the video layer. Then go to effect, color correction, and then go to curves. And then, as you see in this square here, you're going to drag it out a bit to the left, and then over here, you drag it out to the right. And as you can see, it just makes it look so much better, and it just brings out the color a lot more. Alright, go back to the start of your clip, or wherever you want, it doesn't actually matter. And then straight away you're going to check this, enable frame blending. Some people say you don't need to do that, but you do. And then go to layer, frame blending, pixel motion on. And then straight away, you know, go to your um, effect plugins, then you want Twixter. I'm going to use Twixter Pro because I'm cool. Um, already for some reason it's screwing it up a bit, but that's because the input frame rate has to be 59.94 and then you'll see it will stop and then basically, hold on, let me get to a quarter second here a bit quicker you want to go to where you want your slow mo to actually start here we go, just about to get about to pull out the magazine. A bit too far. Right, the rules of uh, Twixter is you don't want to use it where there's a lot of motion. For example, if you've just done a 360, you don't want to do Twixter throughout the whole of this like 360 sort of shot you're going to do. You only want to do it just for, say, the last little bit, just say, just before you shoot. Like here, I'm only doing it as the hand's moving up to pull the clip out. I'm not doing it as the clip is going out, because otherwise you'll get ghosting along the top, and it doesn't look good. Pretty much I need to speed this up, so over here, down arrow, go to your effects, and your Twixter Pro, and then output control. Straight away where it says speed, check the uh, stopwatch to make a keyframe, and then on the right, go to your next frame, and then change it from 100 to 1. And then go forward a few, just a bit. So, as you can see here, it's going fine, and then it just ghosts and goes all weird. So you want to go to about here, and then uh, keyframe it, go to your next frame, and then change it back up to 100, not 1 dash dash, that's pretty retarded. And then um, keep going. And here you might find that your clip's going to run out, so go to layer, time, enable time remapping.
Okay, I did do that in the wrong place. I thought I did. I've only slow mo it where he puts the clip in. I want to slow mo it where he takes the clip out. So bear with me while I find that. Does he ever pull the clip out? Or? Is where he pulls the clip out. What? So, where does he put the clip back in? There we go. So, if you did want to slow mo, right, basically that come up again, and uh, my things sort of run out of memory. But yeah, say if you did want to slow mo quite a lot of movement, you just want to take slow it at a quicker pe uh, speed so you don't want to do it at one you want to do it at at about um uh, 25 or something like that so here I want to do this bit as well so I'm going to change it to one I've only got seven minutes recording time left which doesn't help as you can see here's going to be very slow keyframe it next what a few We'll whack it back up to 100. That did actually, yeah. And then, um, yeah, pretty much that is it. That's your clip, and then it will fade out. So after that, you want to go to composition, add to render queue. And over here, you want to make it quick time. And on the right, you see format options. Change it to H.2. Uh, H.264 and quality put it up to 100. You can do audio output, but it will be out of sync. And then just hit OK. And then just simply hit render. And that is it. It will render it out, and you should be fine. Like I said, Dazzle ones won't come out the best as good as PVRs because they're not true HD. Even though you can render them out in HD, but it doesn't magically do that. Um, pretty much, yeah, that is it. Uh, I've got more videos coming out. I will be uploading the uh, things for the green screen rooms soon. As soon as I've got them recorded, I need to actually remember how to do it. And, uh, yeah, I've been playing Minecraft. Because <laughs> that is the latest craze. I've actually got Minecraft, so if you want to see any of that, just leave a comment. Um, pretty much there we go, that is it, sweet, as I will work out how to stop recording now, there we go, and yeah, I'll see you in the next video.